If you like the following content, please leave a tip at buymeacoffee forward slash Whitley. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Technology Investment Investigations, your gateway to the exciting world of technology investing. Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating realm of brain chip holdings. Stick around as we analyze the strengths, the weaknesses, the opportunities and the threats this company faces. But first, let's set the stage. So Brain Chip Holdings isn't one of those companies that makes chips that go in your brain. Brain Chip Holdings, which was founded in 2011, is a trailblazing company in the field of artificial intelligence and something called neuromorphic computing. The proprietary Akita neuromorphic system on chip is a game changer in the industry, allegedly. It mimics the human brain, enabling edge-based machine learning for applications like autonomous vehicles, security, and various other devices which can be embedded in different places. Their technology is an embodiment of innovation with the potential to revolution the tech world. At least that's what they're selling. If we quickly go through the financials and have a look at roughly the structure of this company uh, from a financial point of view, uh, we can see that the 52 week year on year um, price range is sub $1. Um, and fairly volatile, although given everything that's gone on recent years, it's expected for a, a new technology company to be like that. Uh, the market cap is uh, less than half a billion, which again is what we expect for a new company that's on the market. Uh, the net income is obviously less than we'd like, um, that's re coming down, um, and all their assets and equity, yeah, they're not great, but it's basically a research company so we're not expecting it to be huge and large and out there it's roughly where we'd want it to be the price action is going to take place on revelations of what this company can do and the new markets and purchases of its products basically now if we go for a quick look at the actual market itself what it operates um, Brainship operates in a market, uh, it's playing a significant role in the artificial intelligence semiconductor market basically. Estimated to reach almost 15 billion by 2025, Brainship's focus is on the edge of artificial intelligence, low power consumption, uh, real time processing positions. Uh, they're at the forefront of this burgeoning sector allegedly, um, and the applications are on the rise and the market offers ample room for growth by the looks of it. I can see where a lot of this product is going to go, um, so let's quickly go over it. So first up, the strengths of the company. Brain chips um, designed for low latency, low power consumption and scalability. Uh, you could describe this as a technological marvel to a certain extent. Uh, it provides substantial competitive advantages because of obviously the low power and the quick reaction due to the AI. Their strategic partnerships with industry giants like NASA has already demonstrated their capability to expand their reach. Moreover, their IP portfolio is an asset, securing a position at the technological forefront. With a lot of the infrastructure in definitely in Europe, definitely North America, um, and to a certain extent coming up in Asia, um, the chips that are used in this uh, provide a quick reaction to sensors and um, various other meters of what's going on in our world. It's too detailed for me to go into exactly here. Um, but essentially it, it's one of these things that can be applied um, to civil engineering um, and civil planning, which will uh, gives it a bigger market than we would expect uh, for a normal company, which basically has niche chips that go in certain places. Now the artificial intelligent market is very competitive and Brainchip faces stiff competition in the semiconductor market, uh, let alone the artificial intelligence semiconductor market. This is a fast paced market uh, and the nature of it means keeping up with technology is crucial. Dependence on the key clients expose them to potential revenue volatility. 
Additionally, there's a limited brand recognition compared to industry giants that pose a challenge. And personally, I think the term brain chip conjures up Elon Musk wants to put chips in people's brains rather than actually what this is. And I think going down the line, there may well have to be a change in branding or at least the chips themselves will have to have a name which is distinct from the company. So there's plenty of opportunities out there. We've already briefly mentioned it. Um, this is a chip which has fast reactions, um, uses very little power, and it uh, has a certain amount of autonomy over how it reacts to different things. So whereas chips of the past um, would have to be programmed and given a set parameter of, of things to do, this one has a little bit more leniency in the options available um, for the programmers to get it to do different things it wants to do. Um, I can see a massive horizon of opportunities there where it can be placed in, um, as the promo video says, bridges, infrastructure and things like that. But if you think about going forward, then obviously then we have things like um, plate tectonic barriers where we have earthquake zones, um, volcano zones, um, maybe even flood centers, things like that. If it's, if it's able to react a certain way and we're able to get uh, that, just basically just stick the chip there, leave it for 20 years and maybe you'll get a signal back from it when the disaster is about to come. If it works that way, that's a huge potential across the entire planet. Um, and I, I think that they're focused on the automotive industry and surveillance applications present some substantial growth as well. Um, it's all about the artificial intelligence adoption trend that's going on at the moment. Um, coupled with the, the kind of deployment of this technology, um, there's there's multitude of opportunities there for, for brain chips, um, edge AI technology. So the threats, let's delve into the threats. Uh, the market competition uh, from established play players Players is, is ever present. Regulatory hurdles in artificial intelligence is something that's coming up. Um, it's certainly been discussed a lot amongst um, politicians, not just in this field, but you think about it when it comes to things like chat GDP um, and how that's affecting the um, artistic world. Um, artificial intelligence when it comes to design, how that's affecting engineers and the potential for their jobs, architects, things like that. Um, there's going to be a lot of regulation down the line which is going to not crush the industry but it's certainly going to compress the industry um, which basically means something like this uh, getting in at the right time is going to be a challenge um, whether you actually want to actually be in the industry or whether you just want to buy shares and companies to do the industry um, it also has a reliance on third party manufacturing which exposes it to severe supply chain disruptions um, so understanding mitigating these threats is key obviously we've seen this the past couple of years where um, people are buying stuff from around the world trades all disappeared it all crashes with semiconductors um, the materials that go into this are from grounds through production all the way to the chip itself is incredibly volatile since it means moving stuff all over the world uh, if you ever follow um, the GPU market, you'll know that um, game cards basically move prices like crazy and they're being traded like gold uh, to a certain extent. They may as well be purely because of, of the needs of customers to want these things and the ability of companies to actually produce them. Uh, this is one of the biggest threats that would face any um, chip manufacturer around the world, but especially somebody, um, a company as small as this. So, in conclusion, Brain Chip Holdings has a great name um, for the geeky science fiction enthusiast who believes that Elon Musk wants to put chips in everybody's brains. But as a company, it um, may well hinder people's ability to take it seriously. Um, it's a compelling company, however, and the artificial intelligence semiconductor industry, uh, with its cutting edge technology, has a bright future regardless of the company that's involved. In particular, this company, the strengths in neuromorphic computing and the partnerships that they have with various companies and various institutions gives it a very strong foundation. 
um, but they're going to have to navigate the competitive landscape. They're going to have to address their weaknesses, not only with the brand name, um, but with um, the um, ability to control the operations and the uh, materials and production and various things like that. Uh, but they had, there's, there's an abundance of opportunities for them to seize um, while holding, uh, while managing the potential threats to the company. So I think that'll be it. I think if we go into more details with this, we're going to end up kind of selling the company either short or over the top, more than they deserve or less than they deserve. Um, if you're interested in it, um, it's an interesting one. Definitely go do your research. Go to the website, look through um, some of their product portfolios. Uh, look at the white papers, see what they're up to. It may well be worth investing in it. Personally, I think this is a long-term investment and I think it's a company that will probably be bought out at some point in the future by somebody else with a name which is less science fiction-y. Um, but thank you for joining us today on Technology Investment Investigations. Um, I hope my SWOT analysis of Brainship Holdings has shared light on the potential of this innovative company. Um, remember, investing in technology world um, is a journey so always do your own research before making any financial decisions please um, but if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the notification bell so until next time happy investing and thank you for watching thank you for watching please like subscribe and hit the notification bell if you enjoyed my content please support this channel by visiting buymeacoffee forward slash Whitley or scan the QR code to leave a tip.